All right, guys, welcome back to another Mod Bros video. Today we are talking about my Exus with the Omega Kit, modified to feed full lengths. Uh, we have build guides in the past that will pop up in the top right corner, like right now. Um, but recently, Jacob had a thought to make a brass barrel attachment that threads right into the normal spot that the aluminum barrel goes into. Mm -hmm. It looks kind of dumb. Hey, fuck you, bitch. Instantly? I thought it was just going to be like thousand block comments on your thing. That, that's what you do. I get. Oh, really? No, I get specific. You get specific words? Oh, no. Um... Jacob made a threaded barrel attachment that goes right into where the normal aluminum barrel goes, except it's made for 1732nds brass. So we were getting about an average of 10 to 20 FPS to um, gain, depending on the spring. Um, we'll probably be selling this or put it on Thingiverse, I'm not too sure. You don't have to do any cutting for the brass, I just sanded it a bit and shoved it in there. and. It so, goes in just the, the whole foot is I think I think it was like a couple inches longer than this 270 millimeter thing and so it's close I'd say 27 centimeters divided by 2.45 long is 12 inches in centimeters it's almost like 30 I think is it in centimeters yeah. in millimeters in centimeters 2.45 times 12 28 ish it's almost 30. It's an almost 30 centimeter long barrel, and so you get a slightly longer barrel than the base barrel, and it's slightly tighter inner diameter, and it's also brass, so you can fiddle around with that with like waxing and whatnot. But so that's the main reason why I think we were getting better performance mm -hmm. and whatnot. It's and so longer first, though. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's longer and whatnot. But yeah, with a 16 kg spring, we were getting what was it, 240s, and then with this barrel, we were getting like 220s. Yeah. And with an AKG, it was like two tens and two twenties. Mm -hmm. But so at low spring yields, I wouldn't really say it's very different, especially since at low spring yields, having a looser barrel would still be fine and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But if you're trying to push out and max out how much your Omega or your Alpha kit is hitting, uh, I'd recommend a brass barrel with nice thread because since the only reason this is possible is because the pusher seals into the dark gate and then the dark gate seals to the barrel. Yeah. And so we're able to just swap out the barrel with whatever we feel. And since they're threaded to be essentially modular, it works really nice. Yep. Yeah. Uh, we'll do a firing demo real fast, maybe. It was being fitted. 30.48 centimeters. Really? Yeah. It was off by a few. Yeah, your math sucks. I was averaging a lot. <laughs> I was averaging basically every step of the way. Uh, but yeah, so this is Tucker's X2 set. Can fire both full and half length darts, so we'll do a shooting test of both. Yeah. Just to sort of show it off that it does work. Yeah, in just a minute. Alright, we are gonna do the. I'm gonna do the aluminum barrel first just because I picked it up first. Wait. I know. <laughs> Super decisive thinking. Yeah. Spread it in. Maybe. Yeah. All right, it's threaded in. And catches just fine. And as you guys can see, maybe it is enough to feed a full length. Here, we'll do full length mag. And look at that, it chambers just fine, and fires. Screws and threaded rod. Add little bits over there. Okay. All right, but now on to like the actual firing demo. Switching over to worker gen three. Yay, the, the best darts. <laughs> I was testing earlier with worker gen threes. Fired five, four broke after one shot. see. <laughs> That's 
204. Eh, you can't see that at all. But it's 204. <laughs> it actually unplugged a little bit. All right, second shot. That's 201. All right, third shot. 203, very consistent, low 200s, 203, 201, and 203 again. I think it was 204. Was it 204? Yeah. Um, Standard deviation of trace. Just put one in. Yeah. Now we're gonna move on to the brass barrel. Very easily, you just thread out the initial one and you thread in your shiny new brass. Oh, wow. There's not a definitive clink of metal on metal. <laughs> I guess they are. Hmm. I might want to put something out of the center a little bit more. Yeah. Just use some tape like things. <laughs> Worker Gen 3s with the brass barrel. And here we go. Oh, that's 200. I know. I had trouble going over that talent. Yeah. Well, what do you expect? It was made for Katana. 210. <laughs> First one to break the 210 mark. Mm -hmm. Last shot. 208. Um, so yeah, two out of those three shots were higher than the initial aluminum barrel. We were getting better numbers earlier. Oh. Oh, yeah, not exactly like recommended for if you are running a lower spring yield because we currently have the 8kg in right now. So yeah, I mean like for firing 200 FPS, this one is more than fine. And it'll do the job and everything and it feeds nicely. Uh, I say it works well, it also looks real nice. Yeah, red's nice color. It's real nice. But uh, if you're trying to max out how much power you can get out of your x Zeus, brass is just a better dart fit and also just a better material to use than aluminum. And so, yeah. Yeah, and as there you guys saw, there was no feeding issues, no jams. It went right through yep. the threaded um, dart gate just fine and the right into the brass. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sealed perfectly. There's there's a pretty decent seal holds air for about two seconds. I'd like it to be better, but I need to put tape on everything. Yeah, I don't think the seal loss is from the barrel. Yeah, so. it's definitely not because I tested that earlier. It's from the yeah. plunger tube. Just a uh, small little update video to show off a little part that we're going to be putting on Thingiverse and some barrels that we will be selling on our Etsy. Yeah. So, if you guys like this video, go ahead and smash that like button. If you're not subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to get more updates on us, Hit the bell icon. We have videos coming out every week, Wednesday, about noon, Mountain Standard Time. And um, we have an Etsy and a Patreon down in the uh, links below. Um, Patreon will help us, if you become a patron, it'll help us make more cool stuff like this. Get it out to you guys in a better fashion. Maybe make our own website at some point. So I should probably also mention that for all you schnazzy people getting your new C to S's with the Alpha Kit and everything, this barrel will also work in that. Oh yeah. So we don't have the C to just show that off, so can't really show you to you. But yeah, they run off the same dark gate, same threads. So yeah, check out the barrel if you have a CETA, and if you want a better barrel for your CETA, check it out. Uh, yeah, because brass is better than the Alpha Kit. Yeah, uh, I think I remember back from, I can't remember exact numbers, but I think Bradley got improved performance when he initially reviewed the Alpha Kit with one of the brass barrels that Liam sent him. So if you're looking for maybe more consistency or more power in your CETA, check out these barrels and whatnot. Oh yeah, and then um, leave a comment down below if you think this is a cool kit, if you like my Exus, if you want us to do more stuff in the future like this, um, go ahead and tell us. We'll read your comment. We'll reply. We like reading helpful, positive, fun comments. Um, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Um, we'll see you. Bye.